Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Emma. I post like psychology, lifestyle, travel type videos on here. So if you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe. That way you're notified every time that I post a video. And also be sure to follow me on Instagram because I'm on Instagram a lot more than I'm on YouTube. So it's just a good way that we can like stay in touch, you know? Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I don't really post videos like this anymore and I don't know why because I think that it's gonna turn out like really good and I've kind of thought about it and planned and I'm excited for it so please let me know what you guys think about this. Um, but yeah, essentially I'm just gonna do like a self-care night routine if you will. This semester is a little bit more atypical for me just because I'm not working as much kind of a long story and some of you guys have asked why I'm not working at the dance store anymore. We sold the business and then we bought franchise rights for a new business so I'm helping like close down the dancewear store and then open this new business. It just doesn't require like going in anywhere so like a lot of the work I just like do from home. Um, so yeah, it's just like I have like a lot more free time this semester which I don't really know if that's good or not because I really want the weeks to just like go by quickly and they go by really really slow like today's wednesday i was up early for tutoring training i tutor once a week at a public school and we had training this morning and then i got home at like 9 30 and i've been doing like nothing ever since so with that i have been trying to incorporate new and different ways to get myself out of the house and one of those ways is to start working out more. I really haven't had like a real workout class in a couple years, um, but with my college tuition, it's actually included that we get free workout and like gym access at the campus rec center. So I am trying to go three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, and so far it's been good. This is the first week doing all three. Today's only Wednesday, but I am planning to on Friday but yeah I'm just trying to like move more and it's not that I'm like unhappy with my body or anything I just am definitely very weak and I need to get stronger I want to get stronger I want to tone up but also it's just a good way to get out of the house to be around other people to take a class like it's just like it's all been really good so far tonight I am going to relaxation yoga which I'm very excited about um, I haven't gone to this exact type of yoga class I've gone to power yoga which I really really like but um, my I went to two workouts two in a row on Monday and I can barely walk still my legs feel like bricks it is painful to lift them and so I just thought that like I was gonna take a Zumba class but I was like you know what that's probably not a really good idea um so I'm just gonna kind of take it nice and easy and stretch and get warm and hopefully that will help like my sore muscles to dissolve um so yeah we're going to relaxation yoga it's at 5 15 it is 4 20. I just wanted to like film this and like get going because I tried to film this Monday and I was running late and then I almost passed out my workout class and then I got home and I felt so sick so I just like deleted all that footage and I was like okay Wednesday we're gonna start fresh again so here we go I want to show you guys my outfit. I have been online shopping too much lately. I think I've placed an order for Old Navy, PacSun, and American Eagle within like a week and a half, which is unheard of for me. I like never buy clothes, much less like buy clothes three different times from three different stores. But I just kind of wanted to like treat myself to some new workout gear and clothes for class and stuff because I do have like a lot of clothes, but it's a lot of stuff that I've had for like years. So I just wanted some new stuff for me. So yes also i got a haircut don't know if you guys can tell i got like two inches off so it's a lot healthier what i'm wearing right now is from old navy so this is just like a bluish gray long sleeve top that has thumb holes which i really like um i just really like the color on it and i don't know if you guys will be able to tell there's like a little hole in the back which i think is super cute and then i just have these navy blue leggings I really wanted a pair of navy ones because I really only have black and they're super cute and comfy. I really, really like them. I've got to blow out my candle. I'm all ready. I've got my keys, my water bottle, my phone with my music going. Here we go.
I'm home now from class. It was such a good one. The teacher was so good. I loved her. She was very like calm, peaceful, really made the room relaxing, and we just like really focused on our breath and taking the movement slow. It was seriously so good. I forgot how much I love yoga. It is such a good class and even though I kind of feel guilty because like I'm not moving my body as much as I could be in like a Zumba or like a HIIT workout or something but I'm still moving it and I'm still like using my muscles and working on stability and breathing which I'm so bad at breathing <laughs> um so it's just like so good so good for us I feel awesome I'm gonna shower now I didn't really sweat that much but I have to like wash my hair and do all that kind of stuff so yeah, the workout room was actually kind of cold, which I didn't really like. I like when it's like warmer. That way, like you're just warm and I feel like you're more open and you can kind of do the movements a little bit better. But I want to show you guys what shampoo and conditioner I have been using because I just discovered it. You guys can tell I have so many because I can never find one that I like really, really like. So these are the two that I found and that I love. This is Herbal Essence. It's honey and vitamin B, so it's like really moisturizing, which I need, uh, especially in the winter. My hair gets like super dry and frizzy, so I use this shampoo and conditioner, but then I also just bought this. It's an anti-breakage keratin oil conditioner. It smells so good. Really, really makes my hair like shiny and soft, so I've been using that as well, just in case you guys were interested in a new shampoo and conditioner because like I said like I literally have so many and I can never find one that I like I always just like hop from one to the next but I really really like those ones oh also the teacher played like some of my favorite songs so I listen to this canyons playlist by Zoe Laz she is in, like an Instagrammer and then I also listen to my friends playlist which is called Idaho we listen to this all the time in Ukraine it's like very peaceful like calming music. I'm all showered, I'm downstairs, I'm about to start some dinner. I'm really craving pasta, so I've had this in my drawer for like a couple weeks, so I have some gluten-free pasta, pasta sauce, and then I think I'm gonna add some of these veggies into the sauce. My mom does that, so you just kinda like mix the two in the same pot, and it's obviously healthier, and I feel like it tastes better too. I just like the extra flavor, so. I am going to work on that. I do not ever cook. If I am like making something for myself, it's usually like grilled cheese or an egg or something. <laughs> like it's nothing to this extent, and obviously pasta is super easy but this is like complicated for me and like trying to get everything to like time right so it's all ready at the same time. I just do not like cooking, but I'm trying to get better. So yes, I have some water here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start it up. And apparently it has to come to a boil and then I add the noodles, but I think I'm gonna start warming up the sauce now, I guess. And my veggies are frozen, so I'm hoping that if I just put them in there, they'll like defreeze, but We'll find out. Also, I feel like in college, like a lot of my meals are like quick sandwiches, like fresh food, snacks, like nothing like really fancy or stuff that takes time. Um, but since I do have more time this semester, I'm trying to get better about that and like actually make meals and then have to let like leftovers for lunch and stuff like that. So, I'm trying to get better. If you guys have any easy recipes that are not super hard and complicated, let me know. Um, I'm not really a recipe person or a cooking kitchen person, so I can use all the help that I can get. Here's how it turned out. It doesn't really look appetizing, but it's super yummy, so I'm just gonna eat and watch The Office. I'm finished with dinner. It was super delicious. I will definitely be making it again. It was so easy. Like it didn't take near as much time as I thought that it would. And with the veggies and the sauce, it was just like really, really good. So definitely recommend. Excited to eat it for dinner tomorrow. Um, but yeah, it's about 8.30 now, which is usually kind of when I start winding down for the night. I wouldn't say that I have like a strict 
night routine per se it's more so that i really just like don't have a lot to do at night like i'm usually always home by like five or seven or something so it's not like i'm always out late or anything so i really do try to use my nights like i love my nights because i just get to kind of be lazy like i stop doing homework around like seven or eight unless something absolutely needs to be done but i try to finish homework early so i can just like read or journal or watch netflix or just do things that like i want to do that have nothing to do with school which i think is really really important so this semester with my free time i have been trying to read a lot more i actually read like so many books over winter break and i've kind of just like carried that habit into this new semester so here's a couple books that i have read i'm reading this one right now it is so so good it's about this family that moves to alaska post vietnam war and just like all of the struggles and just the changes that they're going through and then i just finished this one this is kind of like a thriller psychological thriller i guess it's really difficult to explain but it's like a modern love triangle but there's like a lot more to each of the characters than you expect that's one thing i do and then another thing that i like to do is journal um i have this q a a day journal that i love this is actually my second one my friend got it for me for christmas and so i thought that it would be fun to do like a 2020 to 2025 so it's for five years um and basically there's just like a prompt every day that you answer which i think is really neat because you can see how your answers like change over the years or if they stay like pretty consistent it's just like a really neat journal idea and then obviously i have my big main journal which i've had for a long time i filled a lot of pages in here i don't journal very often it's usually like once a month or like after a trip or like a new semester or something like that i just feel like i don't have like a lot to say all of the time so i just journal when i feel the need to journal i'm just gonna spend a few minutes journaling um i think that this is something really important especially for our mental health this is what got me through like my first couple years of college um, just because I was so terrible at expressing my feelings and my thoughts and they just like really got a hold of me and I just found that journaling I was able to kind of express it and let it go and it was somewhere permanently so it's just like a really awesome thing to do. Another thing that I do most nights is make a cup of tea. I love to do this when I'm like watching Netflix or reading a book. This is my favorite for night. It's Sleepy Time Vanilla. It tastes really good and I feel like it actually does make me like kind of sleepy and ready for bed. It's really hard to open with one hand. I'm actually almost out. I need to get some more. But I will just pop one of these in my cup. Start making that. I've got my tea and I'm just gonna spend the night reading, continuing to read The Great Alone. Seriously, such a good book. Um, but I just wanted to kind of say like, obviously like this is, I'm titling it self-care just because I feel like I'm doing things that are good for me mentally and physically. I feel like with reading specifically, like a lot of people just like don't like to read. And my dad has always said, if you don't like to read, you haven't been reading the right books. So I think there is a book out there for everyone. But I also don't think that there should like be any guilt placed on just like zoning out, watching Netflix, just like not thinking, kind of turning your brain off. I feel like that's totally okay and especially with netflix like everything is so accessible now that i feel like that's kind of our main go-to is that it's just easier to put on netflix whereas i feel like like actually taking the time to read or to journal obviously like i said takes more time more energy but i personally find it like beneficial for me like when i read especially at night i sleep so much better i feel like i'm a lot more at peace i'm not quite as like irritable or anything and so i feel like there are definitely a lot of benefits to turning off or being away from a screen for longer periods of time and um i think like research shows that you're supposed to like turn off your phone or whatever like 30 to an hour uh before you go to bed again to help you sleep and i feel like a lot of people like don't sleep as well anymore and i feel like that is because of technology but 
in all just with like this video i just want to show that like i just think that it's important to take time for yourself and to do things that are beneficial and positive things for yourself because i feel like a lot of the time like in our society like i said it's so busy and we're always like jumping from one thing to the next to the next to the next and we never really think about ourselves and I just think that it's really important. So I just wanted to make this video and kind of show you guys how I do it. And if you guys have other things that like you really like to do to like wind down or relax, I would love to hear them. I am going to end the video here. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate your feedback and all of your DMs and comments. Um, I just love reading them and I love that we can make a positive space on social media. Um, just because I know that the, uh, there is a, a lot of negatives involved with it, but yeah, thank you guys again Be sure to subscribe follow me on Instagram and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye